first time I saw this was probably three months ago. I walked down here with uh, a guest, a VIP guest, and we were watching. It's kind of a cool behavior that the dolphins kind of learn from one another. We got word that the dolphins at the Dolphin Cove here at SeaWorld were doing this really cool behavior at the underwater viewing windows where they were blowing bubbles out of their blowhole. When the dolphins are making their bubble rings, it looks as though they're blowing a big puff of air out of their blowhole. They angle their heads so that it comes up perfectly straight to create the ring. It's amazing how they can, can uh, emit this ring of air from their blowhole. I caught myself going to the glass and just sitting and staring. I couldn't even talk. It was one of those things that bothered me right now. I'm watching the most incredible thing I've ever seen. If you had a balloon at home and you flex and play with the end of it to make the different sounds, they can do that with their blowhole. It kind of just looks like a little halo at first and then they just push it and it gets smaller. Either take their rostrum or their head and kind of move it in a circle to make it bigger. They blow the bubble and then the other one wants to get to it and it's the smaller it gets and then he's like, all right, I'm going to pop it. It's my toy. You can't have fun with that. That's, you know, that's mine. If you want to do it, make your own, you know? Logic would tell you that when you have air underwater, it immediately starts to rise. These rings in a cylindrical form and they're perfectly circled and they're traveling down. We mostly see the females doing it for some reason. My guess would be that maybe the males are preoccupied with the social interaction with each other. It seems to be very entertaining for the dolphins. It's really interesting for us to watch, and uh, the guests really just think it's something cool. It didn't really look like it was a bubble. It just it looked like it was a dark solid color, yeah. and like a snake, and you couldn't really see the bottom part of it. Several years ago, there may have only been one or two that have done it, so it seems that either other animals are catching on, or they're being taught how to do this. And this is just not blowing out a bubble of air. This is, they've had to watch and learn the process and the technique of being able to take this bubble ring and to hold it underwater, to spin it, and to really manipulate it. I really hand it to these animals just how, how quickly they learn something as complicated as that. As you saw with the bubble ring, it kind of created a little bit of attention from the other animal and kind of was like, hey, wait a minute, what, what, what was that? How did you do that? That may be an animal that may not necessarily know the bubble ring yet. And again, it just kind of piques his interest. Down here is one of the best places to watch dolphins because what you're seeing is their natural behavior. As, as long as we've been doing this, the 30 plus years that SeaWorld has had these animals, we're still learning from them, just as they're learning from us. Just when you think you've seen it all or you've learned it all, uh, something new comes up. Something you gotta see to see how amazing it really is. It was one of those moments in life where you went, we haven't figured all, all the things out yet. These animals have a lot more to teach us.